we're given a graph of j of x. We want to sketch the image of the graph after translation 4 to the left and 5 down. So what you can do is you can take some key points. Those look like important points. You can move them 4 to the left and then 5 down. So if I would do that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, one point would be there, another point would be there, and this point would be there. Draw the same shape. And we've moved it four to the left and five down. Again, it's asking us to write the equation of the image in terms of the function j. So it's the same language that we saw in our first example. This green equation is going to be, well, we've moved the function j 4 to the left. That's going to happen inside the function. And 5 down that's going to happen outside of the function. If we look at the domain and range of each, with these arrowheads, okay, for your domain, you start asking yourself, is there a smallest x value? It'll be like negative infinity. Is there a biggest x value? No, it's positive infinity. Is there anything that's not allowed in between with asymptotes? No, it seems like it's connected all the way through. So our domain here is everything. Our range, it does have a smallest value for our y values. That's at zero. But it does go up forever for the red one. So I'm doing the red one first. y is bigger than or equal to zero. For our green graph, when you move it left or right, does that change our domain? Usually, but if the domain was everything to begin with, it's still going to be everything. But moving it 5 down, we now have a new smallest value at negative 5, and it's bigger than or equal to negative 5. Questions you can do for this one are 8, 9, and 10. We are going to, for the rest of the class, we're going to finish example 3 and 4 and then take the time at the end to do questions that if we have some time at the end.